Hey guys, Mr. Strix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this design that I'm wearing on my nails right now. It's really, really, really pretty, and I'm really loving it. I'm totally obsessed with my nails right now. Basically, it is a gold and black manicure, gold, black, and nude, I guess, because some of the parts of the nail are nude. Um, manicure, and it's just very sleek and very chic, and I know that rhymed. Um, and I know all the nails are mixed matched, and I know some of you guys don't like that. But I like the way that looks, so that's how I did my nails. But of course, as I always say in my nail tutorials, you can take just one of these designs and use it on all of your nails or just one of these designs and use it on one of your nails as an accent finger, so on and so forth. I just want to show you how to do all the designs because that's what I'm doing on my fingers. So, yeah, I really, really love this. I posted an Instagram photo of this the other day um, and got lots of likes and comments, so... To get started, you're going to need these three polishes. You're going to need a clear polish, of course, for a top coat. You're going to need a black polish. This is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine Black Polish in Black Cream. And you're going to need a gold glitter polish. You can also use, you know, pink glitter or whatever color you want as an accent color. You can use a different color instead of black as well. I just like the way black and gold look together. But you're going to want a darker color and a lighter color. I'm using Julep's Oscar polish. So you're going to want a gold glitter polish. And you're also going to want tape and scissors. Because that's really going to help us get these designs. Which, of course, you can hand paint these designs, but I think it's a bit easier to do with tape. So to start off, you want to paint all of your nails. I let these dry overnight. You don't have to do that. Of course, you can just let them dry for like 10 to 20 minutes. You want them to be perfectly dry, though, before you start the designs, or some of the tape will rip off the nail polish. So mine just happened to dry overnight, but it doesn't really matter. So you're going to want to paint three of your nails gold glitter, one of your nails black, and leave one of your nails plain. I am wearing fake nails right now, so that's why if you're wondering. You can do this on short nails as well if you want to, but I think it's a bit easier when you have a bit of a tip on your nails. So yeah, three nails gold, and one nail black, and leave one nail nude. And wherever you place these colors is where your designs are gonna go, so you might wanna think that through before you just start painting your nails. So, I'm going to start off with the easiest design, and that is the French tip on the nails. I did it here on my thumbnail, and I think this is probably one of the simpler designs in the whole tutorial, but I like it. So, I'm going to start off with the black polish, and I'm going to do this one on my pinky nail. You can use, like, tape or a French manicure you know, protector or whatever to do this. I just like to freehand my French manicures because um, I've been doing it for a while. It's not really hard for me. So I just use the brush. And freehand the manicure. Sorry if you guys can't see. like so. So there you have your first nail done. Really, really freaking easy. So there's your French manicure nail. And then I'm going to do tape placement. And tape placement is just taking tape, of course, and putting it where I think, on which nails I want the designs. And this requires a bit of cutting. So I'm going to show you how to cut the shapes out. So I just like to take a big strip of tape and I don't know if you guys can see this I'll try and zoom in a little bit okay and I'm going to take my scissors be careful not to mess up your nails if any of your nails are wet and the first thing I'm gonna do is take off the jagged end because you don't want to use that at all I'm going to cut two very tiny strips of tape very thin meaning 
I hope you guys can see that. I know that my tape is clear, so it's hard to see. But. So I'm going to cut that, and then I'm going to cut a big, sort of thick strip of tape. Looks like that, so a thicker strip there. And then I'm going to cut out a square of tape and see the square and then I'm going to cut it in half to make a triangle okay so on whichever gold nail you choose to use I'm using my pointer finger you want to place the triangle which you want to place the triangle at the bottom of your nail and stick it on really well this is why your nail polish needs to dry fully because you don't want to stick it on and press it on really well and then it pull off your polish and then you're going to take the really thick strip of tape and put it where the tip of the triangle ends in the center of your nail So, just like so. And then on your thumbnail, or in my case the thumbnail, whatever nude nail you have, you're going to place one strip diagonally, one of the thin strips diagonally. I know this is like practically impossible to see. And then you're going to place the other one diagonally so that the tips are matching so that you get a triangle sort of out of it. Not really one strip is taller than the other because then you'll have a line there and that's not good. And you can fix anything with polish later so I don't have to be completely perfect. So I'm going to start off with the pointer finger. I'm just going to take the black polish and go right over that tape. I'm getting a Skype call. So, you want to take this off while it's still wet because once it dries it's going to be really hard to get off. So, I'm um, actually because I must have painted um, a little too, too far up the tape so it's a bit hard to take it off. Just very slowly. You can see you get that nice strip down the middle. You just go pretty slowly and that'll give you the best results. So you can see there that's the second design done. Really, 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 really easy because we use tape. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you the thumb design. The thumb design, even though it has tape, does require a little more than you would think. But the first part is pretty straightforward. Just going to take the black and paint on a French tip. like so, sorry you couldn't see that and then I'm going to take my brush and go down in a diagonal form like that go to the other side press it down and go to a diagonal form like that so right now it sort of looks, almost looks like a bunny doesn't it? a little black bunny without any face <laughs> and then I'm going to let it dry for just a few seconds I don't like ripping it off when it's completely wet, when it's freshly painted, because I feel like it still hasn't sat for long enough that it won't mess up. But I like ripping it off while it's still semi-wet, because when it gets dry, it tends to be harder to rip off the tape. So, I'm going to rip off this side first, because this is the side that is on top. Once again, just the slower you go, the better results you're going to get. And you can see my heart messed up a little there, but of course you can fix that. Sorry, I hit the camera. And I'm going to let that dry. So I'm going to zoom out real quick. Of course, my right hand didn't turn out as good as my left hand, whereas my left hand, the heart actually looks like a heart. <laughs> 
but that's going to happen. So this is the nail design when you're done. I'm going to go ahead, since my left hand dried overnight, I'm going to go ahead and give it a top coat. A cheap 99 cent top coat like I have. I don't like using some of my normal nails, but it works perfectly fine on fake nails because they dry really quickly. So I'm going to zoom in and show you the design one more time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick nail tutorial and I will see you guys later.